Hey, welcome back to another episode with iTrack. Big shout out to all you guys that have been tapping in, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this is your first time here, what we like to do is take a look at the most interesting and creepy TikToks and kind of evaluate for ourselves whether these are fact or fake. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Smash that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Feds found secret tape recordings in Diddy's homes. Diddy appears to be a voyeur that likes to spy on people on his hidden cameras, which are wired in secret places all over his mansions. Little Rod's lawsuit revealed that Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every single room of his home, including in the bathrooms and shower heads. The evidence revealed that Diddy had recordings of several celebrities and artists engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak off parties. So the entire hip hop industry could implode before our very eyes as the feds review the evidence. It was revealed that Diddy allegedly has freak off footage of Beyonce. Now, if Beyonce was dragged into one of these lawsuits and we find out she was in one of those freak offs. That'd be the worst thing for hip hop. I'm telling you right now. Extremely rare sighting of a white manta ray. Check this out, P Diddy, uh, P Diddy, on Biggie's car when the night Biggie oh, got I shot, seen that. they I put a sticker on like the tire. I seen that. And it marked which one was Biggie's, oh, and then that's when he got assassinated. Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Watch this clip. Puffy has been making money off of Biggie's name for longer than Biggie was alive. People keep forgetting. He hadn't turned 25 yet. He was still 24 when he died. It's been over 25 years. F Puffy has been making money on that boy's name longer than he lived. 
it supported all of Bad Boy. His catalog. Clearly, a Biggie Smalls verse. Pretty much all of them died from either a heart attack, except for uh, Kim. Mm -hmm. So check this out, yo. So three of the guys died from a heart attack. Yeah, it's like what they say, man. Whatever's done in the dark will definitely be brought to the light. So let's see. Shows like this make me wonder how often people are buried alive. I think this would be anybody's worst nightmare and something really horrifying to experience. This video is from Russia. It was released on January 24th of 2022. A man was pronounced dead and he was taken to the morgue. Not long after arriving at the morgue, he starts to wake up. I'm not sure what ended up happening to the guy after he woke up and climbed out of the bed, but it is said that there is a condition where people will start to succumb to injuries or certain illnesses, but their heart rate is so slowly beating that doctors can't detect it. I'm glad that he woke up and got out of bed before he was buried alive or possibly embalmed while alive. I wonder how often that actually happens. I mean, to think that somebody might still be alive. I mean, I'm sure by now there are ways to actually make sure somebody's, you know, unalived. The safest electric vehicle in the world can't knock it down, can't tip it over, with only two wheels yet maintains balance. Width of the whole vehicle is one meter, weighing around 360 kilograms, can accommodate two passengers at once, no matter from which angle you pull or bump it, it can stand firm and maintain balance. This is because the chassis of the car is equipped with two high-speed rotating gyroscopes, and it also features automatic frequency modulation found in sports cars, allowing it to remain stable at all times. Despite its unassuming appearance, it can reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour, with an acceleration of less than five seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour. And it boasts all the selling points and features of today's automobiles, such as safety airbags, intelligent voice control, and even with a full charge, it can achieve a maximum range of 350 kilometers. Currently, this car is already being sold in large quantities. Would you like to order one? So Diddy already paid his way out of jail. And this is what high profile people do. For those that don't know me, my name is Tenji Collin and I've been with, I've worked for TMZ for over a decade and also on Capitol Hill and understand politics. And with Diddy's case, just think about it. When Cassie filed that lawsuit in November 17th, Diddy had already started to make in, you know, amends with other people by donating. You know, in 24 hours, he gave away $2 million. He gave away a million dollars to EYL, some fun group that was part of, I guess, investments to help, you know, other people. And then he also donated a million to be split with Jackson State football team and also Howard University, his alumni. And these are the things that you start getting ahead of a story. But, oh, I forgot. He even gave away back publishing. He gave back publishing to all those bad boy artists that he kept for years and years and wouldn't do it. And it was a gold mine for him. All of a sudden, he wanted to give it back to them. So he got tipped off some point, you know, before Cassie filed that lawsuit and started having a change of heart and wanted to be good. And this is what high profile people start doing early on when they know how to, you know, for, for better public relationships, PR, do it ahead of time. And this is why I don't think Diddy's going to This is like that. What is going on? That is so cool. The glowing streaks in the sky, so bright, people surrounded by the city lights were able to clearly see it all. Users online saying they saw it all the way from Temecula, the Coachella area, Orange County, many parts of LA and other parts of California. Some users saying that this could be from the SpaceX launch from last night from Vandenberg. That was around 7.30 p.m. 
an online blog speculating that it could be from a Chinese spacecraft as well. But these slides were seen just after midnight or 1 a.m. or so. Now, is this debris from the SpaceX launch? While well, our team has reached out to SpaceX, we're waiting to hear back, but we will keep working hard to figure out what exactly happened in the sky, what caused this celestial ignite to light it up. Yes, definitely possessed by a demon. I mean, if you couldn't tell by looking at his face, run that back. This is actually the most terrifying video I could find on the dark web. A group of friends were walking in the forest, when suddenly they heard a noise above their heads, and as they looked, this is what they stumbled upon. The ending will surprise you. I mean, there's some situations, I don't know how people could just stand around and try to figure out what's going on. I'm just headed as fast in the opposite direction as I possibly can go. She studied her own red blood cells. They studied and photographed her blood cells under different physical and emotional state. And this is what they found. This is crazy. Uh, when she was sad, her blood cells moved quickly and they became, seriously, they became tear shaped. What? When she was sad. What? Blood cells were in the shape of perfect tears. Uh, when her emotions reflected great love, the shape and formation and the speed became normal. And no joke, they, they became, the, her blood cells began to, like, sparkle. What? Like, 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 with these little flints of light that weren't present before. These little, little, little glints of light. When she was anxious, her blood cells clumped together, and they started moving all quickly. Tension. Yes. Yeah. Tension. Yeah. Which was identical to when they um, studied her blood cells when she was sick. Wow. This is the last um, experiment that they did, which is the m most mind blowing. It gets weirder. Yes, they were like shook by these results already. They're like, "Wow, this is crazy." It's time to bring in our colleagues to to look at this. They grouped um, her blood cells 
into like four or five different groups. The colleagues came in and they picked, um, I believe, two of the groups of blood cells and the colleagues prayed over the blood cells. Wow. They, they, they prayed extensively for like an hour over these blood cells. Everyone there was stunned because <laughs> the blood fluid that was prayed over not only shined what like bright not just the little glints of light from before but like it was like glowing but but hold on but we are talking about at a level that's so far beneath the detection of the human eye right oh 100 talking about like microscope it's a dark field okay, okay. it's called a dark field microscope it, it completely blacks out everything behind it so that you could see things like this light and things like that mm -hmm. this is insane the the blood cells separate from her body that were being prayed over the light and the motion were pulsating at the same rate of her resting heart rate. What? Her blood cells. Her blood cells on a plate separate from her body that have been separated for hours. They're entangled. They are. They are. They're still connected. Wow. Um, and the cells that were not prayed over weren't even moving. Now there's one to grow on. I mean, who would have thought? You all need to pay attention and listen up. The Biden White House is meeting with experts on pandemics about this bird flu. There is a highly contagious pathogen jumping from bird to cow to human. Texas health officials issuing a statewide alert after the first confirmed case of human infection with bird flu that came from a dairy farm. USDA. And at the same time, we're about to see a major disruption in the food supply as the largest fresh egg producer in the U.S. finds the bird flu at their plants. This is in Texas and Michigan, and they're pulling all the eggs. They're stopping the producing of eggs right now. Be careful, because if it is in the eggs that they pulled back, how many eggs in our fridge right now actually are tainted? Now, I'll tell you what my opinion is. Again, it's my opinion, but I foresee this possibly being a really big thing. They're talking about how chaotic and hard to stop the spread of this virus and how quickly it spreads. The Daily Mail even goes as far to say it's a matter of when, not if. And crazy enough, it looks like this article was actually published before it actually spilled over to humans because it says how bird flu is edging closer to human spillover, which it has now done. And if y'all think this is the only thing going on, man, I got so much to freaking tell y'all. I mean, if you don't notice how convenient this is, considering how close the election is, you gotta wake up. The video has been published on the dark web with the title, The Dark Web is the Only Truth. In this video, we see a man celebrating his birthday, but nothing scary. But in the description, it says that this man would be 171 years old and that he would have undergone several experiments to get to this point. What do you think? I think you know, you know what you're supposed to do. Deep down inside, I think everybody does. A lot of people just don't go after it, you know? And like most people start out, they say, I want to be a this, but I'm going to get that to make sure I have something to fall back on. Yeah. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going, there's a possibility that I'm going to fall back. And when you put that out there, then you fall back. But if you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, and you go do it, you usually get your stuff the way you want it, man. Freak accident, an unsuspecting man nearly loses his life, narrowly dodging a runaway saw blade that came loose from a nearby construction site. Watch this again. The man walking into a neighborhood market. Seconds later, the blade comes spinning through the parking lot, slamming into the wall of the store just inches from the door. From the inside of the door, you can see the impact shake the building. Remarkably, no one was hurt. The construction company is now investigating exactly how that saw blade broke loose. Looks like final destination. Now, why is this so important? Because CERN is about to start up the Hadron Collider, ladies and gentlemen, on April 8th. On the day 
of the biggest solar eclipse in American history, where millions of people are flying from around the world, they are going to collide this, these hadron uh, atoms, these protons, these electrons are going to be collided on this day. Now, why in the world would they choose uh, April 8th to do this? I have no idea. But this company is creepy on every level, and I'll tell you why. Not only is, uh, is CERN in CERN, Switzerland, uh, but I want, I want to show you this because this is cause for, in my opinion, a cause for alarm, and here's why. If you take a look at where it's actually at, okay, a large portion of CERN is located in the territory of St. Genus Poli, probably not pronouncing that right. In Roman times, it was called Apollicum. The town and the temple were dedicated to Apollyon, the destroyer. So this is ancient Horus. This is Shiva. The town Apollyon literally is dedicated to the god of destruction, the god of chaos, the destroyer. And this, and this entire Hadron Collider is, collider is right in the middle of Apollyon. Now, why is that so important? Because if you go to the book of Revelation, this is what we read. It says in chapter 9, verse 1, 2, and 11, To him was given the keys of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit. And they, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue his name is Apollyon. Now, you might not find that just a coincidence, but the fact that they're they got this Hadron Collider, which some people, even very, very important scientists, are scared out of their mind of what is going to happen. Now, CERN will tell you on their website, we have no intention of doing anything wrong. Who has intention of blowing up the world? Who has intention of accidentally cracking open a time-space continuum and having something on the other side? Well, I believe they're not telling the full truth. Yes, right? hey, that's another one in the books. I appreciate you guys for stopping by yet again and watching another one with me. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Smash that subscribe button and I will definitely catch you on the next one.